Hey everybody, today we are going to be talking about shoes. Specifically, what is the difference between road running shoes and trail running shoes? You may be wondering, especially if you already have road shoes, should you really go for it and get trail running shoes for running out on the dirt? It depends. We're going to talk about the differences. All right, so let's look at the shoes from the ground up. The first thing to consider is the outsole, so that's the bottom of the shoe. With trail running shoes, you're gonna see a lot of these more gnarly features on here. So we call these points lugs. Um, those are to give you a lot of grip when you're going over varied surfaces. Roots, rocks, mud, you really want that traction when you're out on the trail. By comparison, in your road shoes, the road shoes are really looking to give you uh, a stable, consistent surface for running over paved ground. Uh, one other difference to keep in mind is that some trail shoes have a stickier outsole on the bottom. So not quite all the way to climbing shoe sticky, but that stickiness on the rubber on the bottom of the shoe is going to give you more grip when you're out on trail there. Next up, the midsole. So when we look at this section of the shoe right here, trail shoes are going to be a little bit stiffer all the way through. They really want to give you that support when you're out in the dirt. So we can look at how stiff they are this way, and how stiff they are this way. And one other thing to keep in mind is that some trail shoes also have what's called a rock plate. So that's a bit of extra material uh, in the midsole of the shoe here. And in this shoe, you can actually see it through the outsole and these little cut throughs. But a rock plate is basically gonna protect your feet from anything pointy you might happen to step on while you're out on the trail there. Road shoes don't tend to have rock plates like that. So road shoes in the middle are gonna be made of different types of foam, and they can give you a little more control when you're running over that paved surface in terms of keeping your foot from pronating a little, whereas your trail shoes are just gonna be stiff all the way around. If we go back to rock plates for a moment, since your road shoes don't have rock plates in them, if you decide to take a run through the gravel on your road shoes, you are gonna feel those little rocks and bits on the ground right through the foam there just a difference to keep in mind. The other section here that we can talk about is the uppers, so the entire top part of the shoe. Overall, your trail shoes are just gonna be a little burlier to protect the shoe and your foot from everything that's out on the trail. So on this shoe, not all shoes have these, but on this shoe, you're gonna see that stiff plastic on the front, some reinforcement here on the sides versus the road shoe that doesn't have those features. The plus side of road shoes not having all that reinforcement is that they tend to be a little lighter than your trail shoes. All right, those are some differences, but there are still a lot of similarities between these shoes. You get to choose how much cushioning you have, either a lot or a little bit overall in the shoe. You still get to think about how much heel to toe drop you have anywhere from a lot of squish under the heel, tapering down to nothing under the toe, or zero amount of difference between either, where the heel and the toe are at the same height. And as always, with any kind of shoe, fit is the most important part. So if you're thinking about either road shoes or trail shoes, go see your local experts at REI and they'll help you get fit. All right, that's all for today. If you're curious for more, check out our other videos. And until then, we'll see you next time.